Peace of Christ to all. In this video, which is extremely important, I would like everybody to copy it and post it in his page, please. It's called the names of angels in Islam and the Christianity, what they prove to us. Now somebody will say to me, how you can prove anything from the names of angels? I will show you. If we go over the Bible, we will see many names of angels. But all of us, and most of us actually, I don't want to say all of us, we read things, but we never ask ourselves like, why the names, all of them like, like this? Look, look, look at them. Mikael, Jibreel, Raphael, so, you know, why, why all of them they share the eel? Do you see the eel? What does that mean? Why all of them they end with eel? If you go and see the name meaning, like Mikael, you will see it's mean who is equal to God. Okay, what is the word God there? I see Mikael, Mikael as one word. The fact Mikael is a word mean who is equal to Mika, who is equal to Il is the God. So Il simply is a word. It's not only two letters. It is a letter saying to us, this is your God. Mika Il. The name of the angels is attached to the name of God because this name means something belong to God. Who is equal to God? Jibrail mean man of God or might of God. We see the name. So this is mean that Jibra or Jibri Il Jibri is man of and Il is God. Same for all other names as you see. So all of them they see or they share together the eel as we see together. Now this is in Christianity and Judaism. Now if we go to Islam we will find a surprise. They have almost the same names. Now it's not a surprise for me because Muhammad he was always copying everything from other books. He don't have a religion. He don't belong to anything. Muhammad is just a copyright thief. And we will prove that in a second. The most important angel in Islam is Jibreel, and Mikael, and Israfil, and Israel. Jibreel is the one who delivered the Quran to Muhammad. Everybody know, everybody heard about Jibreel, right? Now Jibreel, Jibreel, which is written or mentioned in the Bible, we know who is he. Even even when Mary she got the message that you know God he will send her, uh, uh, or he's given her the good news about the Messiah. The angels who did talk to her it was Jibreel, or Gabriel we say in English. Now, how we can prove that Muhammad is copying the name just because they are similar? No, as you see, the name is end with ill. And Il is a word mean God in the same time can be used as a name of God. It's a word and a name in the same time. It's belong only to God Almighty. So when the God of Islam he did not call his angels Jibra Allah, he is saying to us the real angel Jibra belong to Il, not to Allah. This name to be accurate in Islam should be the following Jibra Allah or any of the 90 names of the God of Islam names. In case you don't know, Allah He have 99 names. But it has really surprised me that none of them is ill. In the same time, His angels, all of them, they are ending their name with ill which means they are the angels of Il, they are not the angels of Allah. And Il is the name of Hebrew, of God, not any of the names of Allah in Islam. So the question in here, proving to me that Islam is a false religion and Muhammad was just a thief, he, was, he is copying names without knowing what they mean. If Allah he don't believe in ill. 
and ill is not the real God because simply none of the 90 names of Allah have any of them have ill and simply Allah in here saying to us that the most important name of God is the one is attached to my angels names remember those angels their names is attached to ill which mean ill is the most important not Allah so how come Allah drop the most important name for him from his 99 names and this name do not show in the list of names if it is so important even to the point that all angels or most of them in Islam they belong to ill as we see Israfil, Mikael, Uzrael all of them they are the angels of ill none of them is the angel of Allah so in here the Quran is saying to us that you know what I'm going to tell you a secret but I will hide it be between, you know, between the lines only smart people will find the truth from those those names alone can tell you that I am false and Islam is false and Muhammad was not telling you the truth because the names of those angels they don't belong to Allah they belong to the God of the Israel and if we go to the word Israel we will see the following did you notice Israel itself have the name of God attached to the name it became part of the name the same as Israel the same as Mikael the same as Jibrail how come simply because those are not just the names those are names belong to God attached to God they mean something have to do with God Israel it is Israel the name and Eel is God so Israel Eel is the people of Israel who belong to Eel and Israel as a word it's mean to strive or to overcome the rule with Eel rule with Eel who is going to rule Eel even the word Israel in the Quran it's copied as it is and the ignorant the thief who stole the words from the Bible he do not know what it's mean it means simply that the God of Islam cannot be Allah or his 99 names none of them fit with the real name because as you see none of them is ill when he himself the God of Islam he's saying to, you, to us you know what yes the real name of God is ill and it's in the front of you if we go to the Quran chapter number 2 verse number 40 you will see the Quran saying O children of Israel talking to them saying to them remember that you are the chosen people of me chosen people of God who the children of Israel Israel who Il is who now somebody the Muslims will say no 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 Israel it's just the name of a person this is wrong Israel is the name of the person even in your book I will show you ill is the name of God and I can hear Muslim now they are suffering screaming from what I'm saying saying to us we pray we pray we pray to Allah that he don't have a proof for what he say because until now he is just giving us explanation not evidence so what if ill is exist in all those names Israel Jibrail Israel Israel so what do you have a proof he don't no I do if we go to the same verse and we look at explanation we go to at tabari and this is your official government website and this is your scholar at tabari saying it clearly that Isra is the name of the person and il is Allah do you see it Muslims I know you have a weakness in your eyes and you have a problem with your hearing but don't tell me still you don't see it 
So as long even your scholars agree that Il is the name of God, the question is, exposing the Quran, how come Allah forgot to say to us that one of his names is Il? If it is the most important names, because as you see, Israel, the nation of God, they are Israel, not Israel Allah. Jibra'il, not Jibra Allah. Israfil, not Israf Allah. Etc., etc., etc. All names belong to him. Who? The God of the Christian and the Jew. The God of the Holy Bible, not the God of Islam. And the one who all names belong to him, he is the real God. And we prove that in your Quran. Bow down to the one that all names belong to him, Muslims, before it's too late. Christ is Lord and your God is fake. I mean.